Well, hello, hello everybody. Start again. <laughs> Early morning here, late afternoon in Maine. And uh, I would, I'm very happy to introduce you to Evelyn Dunphy. Evelyn was on our show. How long ago was it, Evelyn, that you are on the show? Oh, two years ago in September, Graham. Two years ago in September. God, it seems like yeah, yesterday. Two years. <laughs> we had such a great time at your place. It was just wonderful and you're such a fantastic host. Thank you. It was just, it was just marvelous. So, so what have you been up to since then? Oh my goodness! Well, after you left, um, I was, you know, doing my usual. I had a, a new uh, semester of painting, and then of teaching, and then also um, painting in my studio. And then right after, you know, in, uh, right after Christmas, then of course we all shut down. And uh, within two weeks, actually, barely two weeks of. Uh, everything closing down. The uh, the friends that I've been teaching in New York with, a little company called French Escapade, uh -huh. uh, called me and said, of course, all their tours, everything was gone. So uh, we're going to teach online. Would you uh, would you teach with us? And I said, of course. Not having any idea in the world what that really meant. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you've been here, so you know we're in a rural area. And it, uh -huh. it took two full weeks to get up to speed so that you know you could hear we could do zoom and in fact um i moved into the living room to do zoom because uh out in the field <laughs> it just didn't work very well but that turned out to be a huge success um, i mean uh, we had i i've just now taken two months off from teaching because summer i thought people were not going to be on zoom so i'll mm -hmm. start again in october but the whole year and a half was fantastic. I mean, we had artists from all over the United States and Canada, wow. um, and Hawaii, you know, some European countries. And there were a couple, there were a couple of teachers from uh, New Zealand, I think one from Australia. Oh, wow. So it, it was, it was pretty amazing. The great part about it was that it was so personal and interactive. Yeah. Um, which I, I really had no idea what to expect. So I was very, very pleased about that. So did those people actually see your show at all, or did, was that was, was I'm that? Sure, well, yes, yes, I know some of them did, and uh, because I put it in with all of my uh, my brochures and my emails that I send uh, to students, and uh, so yes, I know many of them did. That's yeah. fantastic. So anything unusual happened along the way? Anything that you think is a poignant position? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I think that was that was the most unusual thing. I mean, we all we all fell into the abyss with COVID. And so uh, for me, the most the unusual and really the sort of the silver lining was that I've spent a lot of time at home, uh -huh. which I hadn't done in the summer in about 15 years because of international travel and teaching and, uh, and going and plein air painting. So um, that, that really was a very nice thing. And it, it led to um, a, whole new body of work that I would not have done if I had been on my usual travel routine. So awesome. um, there were a lot of very nice things uh, that happened, you know, um, and I think the connection mm -hmm. with all these artists online was just a saving grace for me because, uh, I mean, I'm used to being with a lot of people and always having that uh, interaction and you know the camaraderie that goes on with workshops and that kind of thing uh, so it would have been awfully quiet here without those online classes with French escapade uh, yeah it makes it makes such a big difference to have an online presence as you're probably well aware now so I think it was amazingly important and I think it will continue uh, because so many people said uh, that uh, normally they would have had to get on an airplane and fly somewhere in order to study with an artist whose work they liked. And this way, you know, they could be right there in their own house. And uh, the, the, I mean, the workshops, were every, they were all filled. Uh, I mean, I can speak only for myself, but they, they were filled. And, 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 and this summer, people who were, I only knew online have come to Maine to visit. Oh, you know, right. it's, it's wonderful. I mean, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> So have, you been, have you been serving those lobster rolls to them? <laughs> You're the only one that got lobster rolls. I, if anybody's listening, I apologize. <laughs> There's a lot of people listening. They're very upset. I know. I know. Well, if you come, I promise if you've listened to this and you come, you'll get a lobster roll. I have a fantastic, absolutely marvelous. I, yeah. I think for all of us, that personal connection 
uh, is mm. uh, absolutely important. And uh, having having color in your life as part of um, you know the my public image that I put on out mm. in the in the world has been incredibly valuable. Oh, that's fantastic. Amazing. So, what are, what, are, what are your near future plans? What are you, what would you like to do? Well, when I was looking at the question, I said I'd like to book a trip to London. That's not, <laughs> not exactly what you're meaning. Yeah, good, good luck um, with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I, I will definitely continue the online classes throughout the winter, uh, oh. beyond as long as they will go, and um, and I know Francesca Pay, Jackie Grandchamp is planning to do that. I I really want to. I've been as since I've taken these two months off specifically so that I could just address this very question, is yeah. what do I want to do differently going forward? Yes. And I think that's a question that many people, artists and otherwise, are asking themselves and have been. Um, because we, I love the idea of having a lot of un, uh, you know, free time, unstructured time in the studio, but I also don't do well if I don't have people around me. So I have to have a combination mm -hmm. of uh, teaching and painting because yeah. they both they both suit me really really well in in different ways Absolutely. Um, so i'm not i won't be traveling internationally for you know immediately i'm not ready to do that yet but um, i, I will be teaching my my students here who have been with me for years here in maine and we're we're already set up for starting in october yeah uh, so i think i'm i'm looking ahead at the winter as being my uh it's always been my hibernation time when I got a lot of painting done. Yeah. And uh, that's, a real, that's a nice thought. That's well, very, particularly, that's particularly with about. what we've been going through, I think that art really is helping, helping people a lot with their isolation. And I think there's been a huge amount of depression and anxiety that's come over in the last year and a half with what's gone yeah. across the world. And, and hopefully yourself and many other people that can get online and teach people are going to be able to change that situation for them. I, you know, I agree with you, and people have said this too. It's really a huge help. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an enormous help to be able to sit down and uh, and talk back and forth with people. And we all got used to Zoom. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, that was a that was a foreign thing. You know, to many of us, like, how are we ever going to do this? It's not going to be like being with people where you can look over their shoulder and say, "Oh, do this and try this." Uh, but I found out I could do almost everything. Oh, that's fantastic. You know, and uh, I, I just planned my, my workshops to be like that so that if somebody needed help with a certain thing, I would, could do it and they could see it. Plus, they had all the videos to look at forever afterwards. So um, Zoom, has become quite, Zoom has become quite an important part of everybody's life and routine. Should have, I think. Should have bought more shares. <laughs> <That's the case. laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for, for being with us today. I mean, it's, it's late in the afternoon in Maine. Um, beautiful part of the world. It's a really pretty place that you come from as well. With all it's the a lovely place. Place. It really is beautiful. And, and we had so much time, so much great time with you. You're such a wonderful person. It was an enormous treat for me. And uh, I, I'm still kind of pinching myself that you came all the way to Maine. Yeah, yes. I mean, I, I would, I would, because America is my second home. I mean, I've, I was I there for a long, long time. But, you know, I just, I just wished one of my best mates happy birthday this morning. It was his birthday as well. He's in California. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh, yeah. It's my second family and my second home is the United States, without a doubt. Yeah. So uh, I, I hope to get well enough to be able to get back over there if I can. I I hope you can. I really hope you can. You too. Thank you. Thank you, and wonderful to see you both. Take good care. Thank, okay. you, Thank you. All right. Bye.